Hi, welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry. Today we are painting this super cute spring painting. So I thought what perfect way to show off some spring flowers than to paint some cherry blossoms. I know down in Washington DC they're all coming to bloom even here locally will be coming to bloom soon. So I thought why not? It's the perfect time of year. So today our paint palette looks like this. We have white, phthalo blue, black, red, yellow, and burnt umber. I gotta get the burnt umber. I forgot to put it on my plate. Here we go. And we also have a few different brushes. I always like to have a variety of brushes just because it makes my painting a little bit easier in case I need to switch it up a little bit or whatever. So we have this big brush, which is our big daddy. That guy, he does all the work. Covers this canvas the way that we need it to. We also have this square head brush right here, this rounded one, and then this little baby one, okay? So the first one we're gonna start with is our big daddy brush. Go ahead and get them all wet in the water. Let's start with white. So I'm gonna take my white. You're not gonna see it. When you paint it, you'll be able to see it. And I'm gonna show you a little magic trick. This trick works great for everybody. So what I learned in high school was start making a circle and you could put this moon anywhere you want. Once you feel like you have a good circle going, go ahead and hit your canvas and you're going to have a perfect circle every time. I know it's really hard to see right now. I'm going to throw some white around here just to kind of bring in some blue. For when I bring in the blue, it kind of changes color. Okay. There we go. You can make your moon as big as you want. And then just start filling all of this in around it. You're going to go in a round, rounded out circle. Okay? Just like this. Zoop. Perfect. Don't forget about your sides and your tops like I often do. There we go, perfect. I was trying to find a landscape one today, um, but I didn't have time to paint something up this morning. So we pulled this one off the wall of the studio, and this is what you folks are getting. So this is a fun one. I wanted springy, I wanted beautiful, I wanted bright, and this is what we picked. Now I'm just going in with straight phalo blue here. Darken this up. Because, of course, we want it to look like a night sky or dusk sky. You can even grab a tiny little black and add a little black into that blue and work your way in. See how that works out. Hit your sides again. Be careful you don't get any white into this part here. It's going to turn a gray blue, and I don't think you're going to love it. I get super nervous. Oh, I just got white in it, watch. See how it turns it into a gray blue? Maybe you'll love it, I don't know. Everyone loves differently and that's okay. Perfect. And just keep going round. Round and around, round and around. Round and round we go. Perfect. Here I am singing again. Oh man. I love it. Yay, perfect. Now I'm sure I didn't do my side all the way. So I'm gonna grab my canvas. Let's take a look. Nope. I mean it was close. Let's see, let's hit the bottom. And let's tap this and hit this bottom here. Perfect. I love it. Now comes the best part. Watching paint dry. 
I'm just kidding. It's not the best part. This is the most boring part. Straighten that out a little bit. Actually, what I want to do is go back in with this moon here. So I'm going to rinse off my brush really good, clean it off. When you clean off your brush, I notice a lot of people do this when I paint with them. They don't use the water to clean your brush. Just a little tip here. The water is there to clean the paint off your brush, not your paper towel. So some people will sit there and they'll try to clean off the brush like this on their paper towel and just continue to do that until it comes clean. But really, we just use the water to clean our brush. So you can rub the bristles on the bottom of the cup, kind of move them around a little bit, almost like you're washing your hair. Um, and then the water is just dirty. It's not my brush that's dirty, it's the water that's dirty. So remember that. So we're gonna come in with some more white and I'm gonna stand a little bit in front because I can't see this the right way. So actually I'll turn it like this. When I paint a circle to the side, I tend to make it a little crazy. I'm just gonna come in and give this moon a little glow and look at its perfection then. Plus then your circle doesn't have to be perfect either, you know. Oop, I just totally went. I'm losing my circle here, I'm losing my moon. If you lose your moon, that's okay. Let it dry, go right back over it with white again. See how I gave it that nice glow? Clean off that brush again. Let's, let's let this dry a second. My moon is not a full circle, so I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna go back over it so I stop pulling blue into my moon. And we could have a blue moon. Does anyone's parents ever say, like my mom used to say, once in a blue moon. That's funny. Like once in a blue moon we did that or Let's get rid of some of that. There we go. Here we go. Let it dry. Let it dry. I'm sure everyone thinks I'm crazy because I sing on every show. It's all right, though. Everyone knows that singing, that song now, so. <laughs> we all have that going for us. We all know how to sing while paint dries. So now is your time to walk away from your painting. Take a step back, look at it, see if you love the sky, see if you want to add a little bit more black into it. Um, if you notice, I don't lift my brush. I go all the way around, all the way around from side to side to make it nice and smooth. I know a lot of people like to have that textured background, and that's okay too. You can have the textured background. You just pick up on your brush a little bit. Don't don't take your brush all the way around. So my moon, oop, look, I pulled paint, pulled paint. My moon is dry. Let's clean that brush off. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use this little square one. That little square one. I'm gonna grab some white. Let me get all the water out of here. Sometimes they hold water more than they're supposed to. just round this guy out. Now you can for sure use something there. If you want to use a cup, I don't even have a cup. If you want to use uh, maybe like a small paper plate, you could totally use a small paper plate. Go around it like that. A Tupperware lid, um, a bowl, anything you want if you need to make the perfect rounded moon or any round anything that's round right let me pull a little extra white through here give it that extra glow wet that brush just a little tiny bit get some of that white paint wet and Perfect. I love it when it has that nice glow to it. Makes it look really like 
mystical. So we love it. I love it. Gives it that nice, nice glow there. Let me look at it this way. It's still a little crooked. <laughs> I, I really need to start painting like face on. It's okay. Over the weekend I was doing a teaching a painting and <laughs> the lady was like, I can't see. So she was like sitting there. I had to come in and paint like this. So this is how I painted with her. So she could see what I was doing. And it was, it was a little crazy, but it looked good. Everyone's turned out awesome. Okay, so now that we have this dry, even the blue is dry, good. We're going to take that other, that square brush again. We're going to take this burnt umber and a tiny little bit of black. We're going to mix the burnt umber with the black. And then we're just going to come in on the side and make that tree branch, okay? Now, for those of you who have seen my tree branches in the past, we don't go super crazy here. We don't make them look like they should be sticks, okay? So we want everything to kind of flow together like cursive writing. I'm gonna show you right back here. So we want everything to flow. So here's, here's your tree. We're just going to make everything flow. Okay. Everything's flowing like cursive writing. Okay. We don't want our tree to look like this. Okay. A lot of people make trees like that. And it's okay, it's not that it's wrong. You just wanna make it look like very whimsical here. Grab some more of that burnt umber, a little bit more of that brown, and just keep adding. So we wanna bring a nice branch all the way up over here. You can even grab your smaller brush if you feel like you need to use a smaller brush. Definitely use a smaller brush. Bring this guy right here. We're gonna cover all of these branches, okay? I'm gonna grab this little round one here, make my points a little bit easier. And let's see, let's, let's grab a couple little. Make these a little bit more pointy. So I just come in and I point them in the right direction. <laughs> Got it? Nobody else thought that was funny but me, huh? <laughs> making jokes, making jokes. I'm full of them. Okay. Here we go. Let's make this here. Bring this down here. Do, do, do. Bring one here. Just keep building. Just keep building. Just keep building. Different shades. Point these out a little bit. And you know what? We're missing one right over here. So let's grab some more of that. And we'll just add that there. Okay. Now we want this to dry really quickly. Dry, 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 dry. We're going to pull a little bit of white in there. Once we get that white in there, it's going to make those branches pop against the blue background. Oh, I feel a little dehydrated today, like my lips are dry. My mouth is dry. This is crazy. I can ban my mouth. <laughs> okay. So the object here, the goal here, is to make it look like it is a full tree. So you cannot add too many. It's like a happy medium when we're adding the paint to, to the tree, okay? Let's take that round brush again and take a tiny little bit of white, just really, really, really little bit of white. And just kind of adding 
a little tiny bit here. Here, doo -doo -doo. If you feel like it's too much, you feel like you have way too much white in there, take some of that burnt umber again and just really lightly touch that white with it and it's going to make that white die down, okay? It'll just break it up a little bit. Perfect. Let's hit this again. Hit this little branch here. Bring this one up here. Super fun, super easy to do this. There's no wrong way. No wrong way when you're creating, right? Every creation is art, regardless of what somebody else thinks of it. So always keep that in mind and remind yourself of that. Like, it's a creation. You created that. There's nothing wrong with it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Clean that brush off again. Let's go in and do these cherry blossoms. I could not think of the name. <laughs> so, oh, let's do this brush again, this round one. Then we have your red and your white. We're going to take the red, mix a little tiny bit with white to make a little pink. Mine is more of like a fire red, so mine's going to be like a fiery pink. And all it is is four dots, like four, one, two, three, four, okay? Four round balls. Grab some more white, maybe change the different colors. One, two, three, four. Four cotton balls, okay? All overlapping each other. You can go as big or as small as you want with these. You can go as dark as you want with them. You can add a little texture in there. Change the colors a little bit. They're sisters, not twins. It's a whole Mother Hubbard family here. You got all of them. They're not supposed to be the same, okay? Mix some more. Just keep mixing. Keep adding four little circles. Make it a cluster for real. Like just cluster them all together here. And that's where you're going to start to see the pattern and the growth of the tree. So four little cotton balls all come together to create this super amazing tree. Even if there's not a branch there, add one. Add a couple cherry blossoms, okay? Just keep adding. Just keep doing it, keep going. Now, you see on here I have some fillers and that's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some white with whatever pink is left on my brush and super lightly i'm just going to add a couple fillers the fillers are just quick little swooshes to get that um, paint out there okay to get those fillers in there that one's not even on a branch see how cute that looks let's add a few on here and not everything has to be perfect whoa did you just see that i almost dropped that whole canvas not everything has to be perfect. Nobody's perfect, and neither is every single petal. As you see, mine don't look like that. No two paintings are ever gonna look the same either, which is crazy. Just keep going. Let's add a quick little texture to these ones, okay? I just took straight red just really lightly and just hit these with a quick little 
swoosh. Just to give them some fun, fun look. That one's so bright, I'm going to take a little white, swoosh in here with some white. Here we go, perfect. Perfect. Keep going. Filler, filler, filler. Just keep adding those cute little fillers. Keep adding that, those cute little flowers. Fill them all up. Let's start over here. Start bringing some over here. Hit the top. I like to hit the edges because then it covers up my branches and if maybe I made a mistake or I messed up, I like to have those there. Two, three, four. I know I count in my head when I do these things. Sometimes I get quiet when I'm painting because I have to count. <laughs> if I don't, then, I mean, it's okay if you don't. It's all right. Let's see, let's throw one up here. And we'll throw one right here. They can overlap too. It's okay, absolutely. Let them overlap. Create some texture. There we go. Look at how much we're filling these in. I'm going to make a couple little quick little floaters. Those fillers, right? The fillers just really bring out so much in the painting. Okay. So, rinse my brush. I feel it getting dry. Let's grab some more. Scoop up some white. Ooh, I got some brown in there. My white is super watery. This isn't the normal paint that I use. I ran out of white and I had to go and get some. And I don't like the way it is compared to what I normally buy. I mail order my paint. <laughs> I mail order it. It's fun. Doot, 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 doot. I did go get a whole new stack of canvases, though, this weekend. Those were crazy everywhere. Add some more filler. Man, I'm loving this. How are we looking? Good? Everyone loves it? So I heard that underneath, like, trees that have flowers on them, that went underneath the actual tree, after all the petals fall, there's really no way to clean them all up. So all the grass dies underneath it. And I think, I don't want dead grass under mine. So let's clean off that brush real quick. I'm going to take a tiny, tiny little bit of yellow. I'm going to throw some yellow in some of these just to add that extra jazz, okay? Then we got to put these middles on. Look at how much that makes that painting pop when we add that little yellow. Flip your brush, dip it straight into that red, and let's use this brush's butt. Bring these flowers to life, right in the middle, super easy. Boom, boom, boom. Make that little spot as big or as small as you wish. Doot. Boom, 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 boom. Isn't there a song like that? Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah. There we go. Just like that. Just put all those cute little dots in there. If you want to use black or you want to use brown, definitely use that. I'm just going to add a couple of little yellow spots down here to this guy. They're so cute. 
Love it. Love it. You can even add a couple quick yellow fillers too, just to make it a little bit more colorful. You can come in with some straight red also and add it to a couple or some straight white. If you have some darker ones like this one right here, I'm just going to add a little bit of white to that one. Okay. And just like that, let's add some nice red to these ones. These ones I feel are very uniform. They're all trying to be twins, but it's just not working. You can't dress alike today. Yes, I know I'm talking to my painting. It happens. It happens. That's why you guys tune in, just to see what I talk to today. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I could sit here and do this all day long, but let's not. <laughs> so what I want everyone to do is I want everyone to grab their little tiny brush. I want you to grab a little bit of tiny black paint and I want you to own your painting, okay? So just like this, I own it, I love it, it is my creation and thank you for creating with me.